everyone, it's Desiree, and I am here with Spellbinders, but with a new club kit of the month. This one is their 3D um, embossing folder club kit of the month, and it's a beautiful design, um, beautiful florals. There's an opening here, like an archway, so you can do a lot with it. I am becoming more and more a fan of their embossing pow uh, powders. Mm -hmm folders because of their size these measure approximately five and a half by eight and a half you can put this on a slim line you can make a five by seven you can make a regular standard a2 size and anything in between uh, when it comes to these embossing folders but this is new for 2023 i'm also going to talk about i know i did this in a video before but I'm going to talk about their platform system that they have come out with last year. You can see that there are six plates that come in this set. And I'm just going to move that folder out of the way there. So here you have your main platform. Then you have a shim. Part C are your cutting plates. D is your adapter uh, plate. E is the spongy, uh, little tiny rubber mat, and then F is a shim. Now, what you want to remember is this is not a cutting surface. This is not a, a cutting surface either. This is to emboss the image in there. This adapter is used for other types of folders. Of course, your cutting plates, and then of course, your platform. What's great with this system, many things actually, is you have all of the different ways to create your sandwiches when it comes to your spellbinder. So this is building a cutting die sandwich. So you need part A, which is your platform, the shim, which is B, a cutting plate, your cardstock, the die, and another cutting plate. Here, this is how to emboss a cut shape. So a lot of times spellbinders dies have an embossed image within the die that you've just cut from your cardstock. You can put this back in and for that you would need the platform base, the shim. You would need the cardstock in the die that has the embossed areas and that's facing up. Your embossing mat which is your flexible rubber mat and then the adapter plate on top of that. So no cutting pads are involved in that process. So they show many different ways. You also have here the cutting die sandwich, how to emboss a die cut shape. This here is going to be for standard embossing folder sandwich and then a 3D embossing folder sandwich. So you can follow all of those steps. They are very clear. The shim is great for those dies that are very intricate. And again, I like to place that right underneath my platform just to make sure I don't cut into it. So for today, we're going to be doing a 3D embossing folder. So we're going to follow this. So I just need my platform base. I don't need the shim. I need my folder here, and I'm going to need the adapter plate. So let me grab that. I don't need my cutting pads. And as you can see, my cutting pads are well loved. And here's my adapter plate. Okay. One of the other things that I want to real quick show before we get on to the card is Spellbinders. When you go onto their website, you can print this sheet down. What is wonderful is they have looked at other companies, Fun Stampers Journey, Sizzix, the Tim Holtz 3Ds, the Stampin' Up 2 3Ds, even the old and the new version, Creative Expressions, all to new, Nellie's Choice. And they have determined what sandwich will work with this. So if, let's say if I'm doing a Tim Holtz 3D, I would say, okay, that's number three, and I would look at this sandwich here, which I think is absolutely wonderful. They've taken the thought process out, which I absolutely love. You can also print out a sheet to show all of the sandwich, the different sandwiches for Spellbinders as well, which is great. So let's get started on our card. This is what we're going to use, these two plates along with this. But what I am going to do is I'm going to switch over to a voiceover. Some like my gabbing, some don't, but that's okay. 
let's start making our card and we're just really going to focus on this beautiful design i'll see you on the other side this card is going to be simplistic in the creation but has a great wow factor once it's completed i've cut my piece of card stock here to be four and a half by six and a half and i spritzed it very lightly like a huge mist i do like to mist my cardstock before i put it through a 3d embossing folder you're really cracking those fibers to take a shape and look at this it is absolutely gorgeous so many things you can do with this image i'm going to be using an ivory five and a half, five by seven card base and I'm also going to pull out my Uline 2-inch double-sided film tape. I do have it linked below. I love this tape. It's not forgiving. It is extremely strong. Um, but for something like this that has all of that texture, I want to make sure that it's going to stay onto the panel. You could certainly use liquid glue. I just find tape is quicker. The sentiment I'm using is from an extremely <laughs> old Spellbinders uh sentiment die set um it was called hugs expressions i do not believe this is available any longer and since it had a purple top those are the ones that were available in a store um so like joanne's if i can find it i will link it below you can see i'm using my tape i'm going to put my sentiment in the center of that archway but i wanted to add some some twine to the back. Now you could use some floss, you can use some metallic threads. You can see not only do I have issues tying a bow, I have issues laying down and curling up thread. It is amazing of what my fingers cannot do. It's just amazing. I do have some glue on the back side of that sentiment as well and a strip down onto the card so that I can get a good adhesion there so that this will not go over this twine's a little thicker than what you would normally use for that i also stamped not only do you get the dies but you also get these other stamps that you can build your sentiment on so i'm saying hugs to you in this card i don't think it needs anything else something so elegant and beautiful in no time simply from an embossing folder remember this is one of their new clubs for 2023 and remember i said one of their new clubs for 2023 as always they've done a great job and all the products that i used as long as they're still available will be linked down below for you if you would like to check it out i will also have a link to their blog um, for their gallery for even more inspiration on this product as always, leave your comments down below and I'll make sure I get back to you as soon as I can. Enjoy your art. Have fun making your art. That will continue in 2023 as always. But remember what's most important. Always be creative, guys. And I will talk to you in the next one. Till then.